action. Three, two, one, action. The microphone is going. Welcome to the show. This is Fresh Air. Glad you can join me today on this magical day of understanding. We're here for a moment to listen to Fresh Air, right? <laughs> Hold on. Action. So we take a chance to journal our life. We have breakfast when we feel like it. We take showers when we need to, I hope. <laughs> we brush our teeth if you got teeth. Um, and you drink glass of water instead of pop. I mean, we wake up and stretch, right? These are some of the things that we take for granted. That are simple things that we could do if, if we do it for 30 days, it becomes a habit. So it's not even feeling like a chore. It becomes a habit. So like waking up and put, you know, like making your bed, you know, taking a break to have a snack. You know what I mean? Like it's the little things we do every day that puzzle us. And we wonder why we're feeling a certain way. We take attention to certain situations and we don't realize we're not exercising our mind properly. You know, your mind and your conscious is just like another vessel where you got to exercise that every day, right? You got to organize your daily routines and your hobbies. You got to practice hobbies. Like, like I do my music. I, I do my music to feel good. I feel good after I release some of those emotions in my music. I found my creativity through that. But hear, hear me out though. There's things in our life that we always are virtually hit with a crossroad. Do we agree with a certain thing or do we not disagree? And it's always this black and white thinking, right? There's no gray area for people to feel like they can feel good about being just neutral. You know what I mean? Like, we don't always have to pay attention to other people's stuff. And we don't always have to visit other people's things. So when we're hearing things on podcasts or audiobooks or or on your social medias, you tend to get triggered by certain moments where people talk about certain things. And you start searching your 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 social medias for more information about it, something that you're visiting. You're 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 spending your energy on that topic. You're writing your own story. You're exploring other people's misery, basically. That's what it seems like, right? Mm-mm. But if you engage in physical activities like doing your daily routines, you will be distracted enough to not know that, you know what, I don't have to cause any more harm to myself by practicing relaxation techniques that are involving watching other people's demise. Do you get what I'm saying? Do we try new recipes of different things? Write a list of goals every day. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the situation, I should be listening to my own advice. And that's why a lot of times if you're around me in my personal quarters, you will hear me listening to my own stuff. The reason why I do that is because a lot of that's channel energy from the divine, divine spirit. And so a lot of times I feel like a lot of my music or a lot of my things are actually a direct, yeah, it's from me and my voice, but I'm given that opportunity to channel that energy so we can get some information out and the only way I got there is taking care of me it's taking care of myself and understanding what I bring to the table what practices do I do every day do you get what I'm saying as we exhale from whatever you smoke or drink or whatever is your cup of tea for the day just realize that affects you and how you see things Literally, your routine will change how you view the world and how you see things will change. When you start relaxing and start taking care of you, you can now see things in a different light. It will transform you. All right. So then do we take a breath of fresh air? Do we explore new opportunities for ourselves? Do we practice our daily routines to help our brain function properly what are we running from every day you know what I'm saying a lot of times in my past I was using drugs and alcohol as a a coping mechanism it was it was it was clouding my life 
because I was trying to avoid something. And what was I trying to avoid? My lack of what? Communication, my lack of will, my lack of feeling, okay, I've been let down a few times in my life, but do I tend to that feeling of, I'm not gonna do anything more now? Do I not want to do anything more with my life because of how I've been treated? You know what I'm saying? Is there a time in your life where you feel like, you know what, I don't have to be around people that get me feeling like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to keep the cycle going, continually communicating with certain individuals that keep me stuck in that demise. The crisis is within yourself. The practice, the, 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 it's the choreography of your life. You know what I'm saying? It's how you dance with life. It's how you move with life. It's how you walk with life. It's how you virtually see everybody around you, how you react, how you speak to them, how are you waiting to speak, or are you listening, or are you going to be ready to rebuttal back because you have a excited trigger feeling, you get what I'm saying, and those trigger feelings <coughs> come from, sorry, <clears throat> they come from core beliefs that are instilled in us, those are the experience that we have in our life, where we start realizing the language and lessons we've had in life are there to help you, not pull you down, is what I'm trying to get to. How is your image? What what funny things is about you? Do you look at yourself funny or do you take yourself critical? Can we have a laugh once in a while? Or do we always have to feel like we gotta be critical about everything around us? I'm going to speak with clarity so I can learn from my language, my love language, my communication is getting better every day because I explore new boundaries of my own understanding. Does that make sense? I, ex I explore the boundaries of my own understanding. That means I take a break once in a while from everything to focus on me and what betters me. So that means watching material that is either meditational or positive affirmations, or spiritual, for sure. You gotta read from the scripture here and there to then feel like you're in the right direction. Your life and everything you do fits the scriptures. Do you get what I'm saying? You're walking in the light of the scriptures. Do you get what I'm saying? You don't have to reiterate every day that you're walking in the light, but you understand this is the practice you try every day. You volunteer yourself to give information to help others. You're almost like a walking documentary of love and respect and curiosity and care. You organize your life for to be a workspace. It's a living experience completed with unendless possibilities of your blessings once you come to that clarity and feeling like you can hold heartedly stay in the moment now I practice this every day being in the moment is unplugging the past unplugging the future unplugging even the moment so then I can clearly identify what I need to learn and I can be more receptive to learn if I'm focused you get what I'm saying the clarity of focus being in you got all your senses in one moment. You got your hearing, your vision, your your taste, your smell, and what else? Your chakras, your love language, whatever. Your communication, that comes with you. When you can stay in the moment, you can now attend to things that matter. And when you come to the truth, you understand that Oh my gosh, it all comes down to I am what I say I am. Ding, ding, ding. That's your lesson for the day. You can do you. We don't need others to feel better. We don't need material things to feel better. We don't need millions of dollars to feel better. We don't need... All of that, it's all, you know what I mean.
So, ding, ding, ding. It started. Go take a walk. Go get some fresh air. Remember, mindfulness is your strength. The intuition is your strength. Your motivation is your strength. Your creativity and drive is your strength. You give purpose to others. You care about others through your experiences in life. Right? There we go. We take this complete opportunity to take and have a lunch with a friend. You take this opportunity to mend relationships with your family. You remember that your purpose is always to have the best outcome. So if there's negative intentions going into a situation and you have negative thoughts, you're going to get negative results. If you go into it with a positive mindset and stay, you don't have to change who you are whenever you're walking. Wherever you are, you're always the same you. You don't have to tell, or you don't have to act a certain way and be different. You can be you in every moment of the day. It's 11 11. On the dot. Whew, wow. All right, we're going to close this one with no weapon will that is formed against you will prosper and that you will work on your routine and you will attend to your fitness. You will attend to your, your, your destiny. You will read books and listen to motivation. You will give yourself the project of creating a new you. You will take yourself to the new level. You will read the news with different clarity. You will understand that you will no longer be stuck in somebody else's demise and you will no longer be living somebody else's dream. You'll be living your own dream. You will have that day where you get dressed and feel good. You will take a shower. You will brush your teeth. You will take, you'll drink a glass of water for God's sakes. Drink some water instead of all that popping coffee that we always have every day. When it's just going to crash us in two hours. You get that super caffeine high and then also you crash in two hours. Like what's good is that? Then you got to go and get another $7 coffee. I mean, come on. Learn to take a break from your normal routines. If your normal routine is jump in the car and go and get some coffee before work, try something different. Maybe, maybe have a breakfast omelet or something. You know what I mean? Maybe have, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just only a liquid diet, eat something. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Did you know that? It actually rejuvenates your body. Some people get tired after eating. I understand. Don't, it doesn't have to be a big breakfast. It's just at least something to get you going. God bless all of you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.